And Kim Adler, Car Honey Church will start the match, and boy, did she get lined up last match. Just talked to Cara again, and she said um, it was exactly right. She needs to stay down on her shots. She hasn't changed ball. She hasn't changed lines. It's just being firm at the line that has really helped her. She said, once I raise up, I'm toast. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll watch for that and see if it continues to help her. Well, a little bit high, a little soft actually coming out after the break. And she was practicing during the break. Raised up just a little bit more than she had been and maybe threw a little bit slower. She, after the last commercial break, last game she came out, she was very strong, throwing it you know, pretty firm. Well, yes, thank you for that spare. She hasn't had to shoot many spares in a while since that opening match. Here's our first look this week at Kim Adler. Three consecutive telecasts to start the year. Runner-up the last two weeks, as you mentioned, Carolyn. She should have the edge, though, as top seed, and she also... Uh, did pretty well this week. Defeated Honey Church during the week. And she she's defeated her on TV over her career, three to one. The way Kim bowled, I think she beat everybody. I mean, she bowled absolutely phenomenal. I mean, she bowled great. I mean, she was maybe 140 or 50 over the first round. And then from there, there was no stopping her. Last average last year, 213. This week, 240. I'd say that's an improvement. Yeah, that's last year's averages. From everybody. Uh, mostly on the sport condition. And this week, what you're seeing there, those averages compiled by the Ebonite Tournament Coordinator. That's our official tournament software for the PWBA. One thing Kim did mention, the lanes are playing close to how she had them in the morning block. The only thing she's doing different is she says she's a little further right and she's using the same type of cover stock with, with a higher pin to get the ball down the lane a little bit. Taking a rewrite right now. The other finishers, Kathy Doran, Lizzie and Jennifer Swanson, both just missing out by a few pins. Amy Dillon had one of the 800s. Watch out for her. 14th, we have Wendy McPherson, the 1999 champion here, and Tish Johnson, the new WIBC Hall of Fame inductee this year. Kim now up in the second frame, and I should mention those averages, the comparisons. The, the first column was were um, the averages from the first two weeks this year compared to this week. So it still was a sport average compared to this edition yeah. average. Ball coming in a little light, pin in the gutter, tapping out the 10. Ball deflects off and pin just taps it right out. After her first two shots, Kim's ball, it might, it might be a little bit weaker. I mean, it is a higher pin. She's been using a lot of low pins during the week. As we said earlier, second Cara. show for Cara, third show for Kim, so these two should be very comfortable on TV this year. A lot of TV experience out there. I mean, even though Kim didn't make as many shows as she usually does last year, I mean, she's still a very, very good TV bowl. You don't win 14 times, you know, not being very focused. Well, she's made 100% of the shows this year, Kim Adler, and she only made 9% of the shows last year, which is not normal right. for her. And Match Cara, two out of the first three, she's right on pace. Match all even right now. Obviously, both ladies could still shoot 290. But again, high, leaving the 2-7. She's shaking her head. I think she, she thought she threw that one well. Thought that left lane might be breaking down a little bit for her. I think that lane's breaking down a little bit for her. She's going to make the move on the next... Should make the move the next time she's up on that lane. Okay, now interesting here last year. Remember I mentioned the semifinal car shot 245. We challenged her to beat it. She did, 279. In the final match last year here, she went to 179. So she, it went down a lot for her in the championship match. Great spare. Kim Adler won this event in 2000. 
She actually would be the first repeat champion here in the St. Clair Classic. And she wasn't even aware of that till I mentioned that to her today. She goes, oh my gosh, I couldn't remember that. I said, it may be an omen. Double for Kim. Much better shot. She seemed a little more aggressive. She slowed down a little bit with that ball, let the ball roll. Great result. Look at some of our other finishers. Shanna Ray in the cut week after week. Car Carolyn, you snuck in for a cash there. <laughs> Kim Torella, 300 and an 800. And Jen Winkleplack, local first top 24 ever. Good for her. I said a local. She's from Oregon. Oh, but well. she, it's her first top 24. She came out and joined us, and she's going to bowl a couple more weeks. It was nice to see her. Sue Jeziorski back out bowling, too. I haven't seen her bowl in a while. Adler leading by 10 right now. Looking to take it to 20 with another strike. And she's looking to do it early. She doesn't want another match coming down to the 10th frame like the last two weeks. She wants to apply the pressure quick, have it over by the 8th or 9th frame, and go home with the trophy and the check. <laughs> Cara was runner-up to player of the year, runner-up to you, Carolyn. In a phenomenal year, actually, in her own right, would have many times been a player of the year with the year she had. With 13 shows, four victories. And there's that seven pin again. Cara could be experiencing a little carry down on her side. We had Tiffany bowling on that, you know, on the pair of the first game. She's already, you know, she's into her third game. Could be going through a little transition for her. Taking some time on that spare, make sure she covers it and she does. Cara did a, a lot of work over the break. Interesting, she has a sponsor, Bowl Australia, um, and she appeared on a lot of high-profile shows over there in Australia, promoting bowling. Really promoting the sport of bowling. She says sometimes over in Australia, they get a lot of coverage on other sports, and she's finally gotten the opportunity to really promote bowling. She just went over to the practice pair and picked up another ball. So let's see what she does on this shot. was a nice shot. Ball looks like it rolls up a little more and rolls a little bit heavier into the pocket. Great shot. Seven pin. Let's see if we can see some of the differences there. Car in the third frame. Take a look at her right now. Seems like it was a good shot. Just hooked on the back end a little bit more than it had before. And this was her re most recent shot with the ball change. Ball gets down the lane, still rolls, recovered for into the pocket. Kim Adler now up in the fifth frame. She's working on three in a row. Her average on this pair, 242. She bowled three games on it throughout the week. Kim doesn't know that the lane just re-wrapped on her. It's on the second shot. She's not supposed to. The... 